what's up everybody it's your boy again cloud Malenko. you know we out here hope everybody doing good today i feel like black link we about to get into it with a little bit of tales of berseria tales of berseria is one of the best games i played let's get into it What's up, everybody? It's your boy once again, Cloud Malenko Plays here. Today, I am playing one of the most popular role playing games out here. You guys requested it, so this is what I'm doing Tales of Berseria. <laughs> I said Vesperia before. Tales of Berseria is the latest i think in the line of very popular rpg gaming series that started in japan and got localized over here in the west that's titled as the tales series a whole bunch of tales games you know tales of zillia tales of Vesperia. i grew up on tales of symphonia that was my shit. and then pretty much from there it expanded into a way bigger line of games each one most most of the games are standalone so you don't need to know about any of the other games to play any each game has its own individual story the only real similarity between them all is the play styles you know the play styles the fighting styles the framework of the each game is similar but stories are different different characters the tales games are usually light-hearted rpgs with a good story the last one i played was tales of Vesperia. that game was amazing Tales of Berseria takes on more of a, a darker approach than the other games all right, let me just nod. Pretty much, um, as you can see, we got the whole gang here. We got the squad. So I'm explaining just from this menu viewpoint of these characters. Velvet, this main chick over here, first chick you see on the side, um, she is the main character of this game. She started off her life on some pretty normal stuff. I'm living in this village, you know, pretty typical RPG-esque type thing. She had a little brother named Lafacet. Not to be confused with this Lafacet right here. They were living this peaceful life. If you've ever played Tales of Zestiria, this game takes place 400 years before that. So that's kind of like a little fun fact. But Lafacet wanted to become an exorcist there are only a few people in the world with the ability to be exorcists in their blood or at least back at this time before everything went down velvet has a older brother-in-law named artorius arthur he's like this teacher guy you know he trains them to help protect themselves and you know they live a pretty peaceful life um prior to the events of the beginning of the game seven years before um, Velvet and Lapisette's older sister, his wife, or Arthur's wife, was murdered um, on this thing called the Scarlet Night, where I guess a whole bunch of demons come out. Uh, they're getting ready for the Scarlet Night, you know, everything is going as usual. There's this thing called Demon Blight, where you turn into a demon, it's like a disease. The whole village gets uh, afflicted with Demon Blight, and Velvet wakes up on the Scarlet Night. Her brother Lapisette is nowhere to be seen. Lapisette is listening to Artorius. Artorius sacrifices Lafacet right in front of Velvet. Velvet goes crazy. She's like, wow, how could you do this? One sacrifice to save millions. The whole premise of this game is her trying to get back at Artorius for what she did to Lafacet. The whole world reveres Artorius exorcist now. It's like, you know, the good guys. And I like this game because it gives you a perspective of how the bad guys really aren't the bad guys in this case, you know, because they all have their own individual stories on how they became demons, or some of them are demons. I guess you can see this chick, Eleanor, in the middle. She's not a demon. She's um she's actually an exorcist working for Artorias, and um, they pretty much force her to work together with her. Um, there's these things called Malakim. This Lafacette right here, he was called number two. But he looks so much like her little brother that she called him Lapiset and told him to embrace his feelings. You don't have to be this mindless spirit that helps exorcists. You can be your own person. So Lapiset is now traveling with this group and spirits need a vessel to be summoned from inside. So Eleanor has the purest heart. So that's why they have Eleanor on the team because she can summon Lapiset. Magalu, 
this witch chick right here in the middle she's pretty much and not an exorcist she's a witch but yet she has those powers too aizen my boy right here he is a spirit he is a malakin he does not have a master so he's a pirate malakin he, he's a pirate on the open seas he doesn't have a master rokuro is my boy rokuro pretty much is a demon he's a half human half demon who comes from a family line of swordsmen. Each of them have their own reasons for traveling together, but they all wanted to help Velvet out. Velvet, you know, ended up recruiting all these people. You know, Eleanor really is the only one that doesn't agree with the means of how she does things, but they can see why she wants to kill Artorias because they kind of learned a bit about her past. They learned that even though exorcists are held and revered throughout the land, that really she wants to kill the main one, Artorias, because he killed her little brother for no reason. And even though it saved the world, she's like, you kill my brother, you gotta go. So I'm pretty far, I'm level 20, you know, level 20, 23, as you can see. So let's get into it. You can also customize their fits, fashion. Yeah, so you can customize their fits, like, you know, that's what I love, I love that about these games. I customize these fits for them to wear, I have all the DLC with it. So you can customize their outfits, you can customize their, look at my boy, you can customize their equipment, just like, it's literally just like any old school classic um, RPG, but it's actually action, it's action based, um, it's not turn based. Alright, so where am I supposed to be? Alright, so Salatoma from Warp Forest. Warp Forest. Alright, so I was going the right way, y'all. I'm supposed to go in here. See, we're we're in Warp Forest. I don't know what we're doing in this month, but um, I'm supposed to collect something from here, I guess. I haven't played this in like a week, so we're gonna see what the story hidden for. But I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to collect something from here. What's going on in this story right now? Like I told you guys, she's on her path of vengeance. She's met like a whole bunch of friends on the way. They're pretty much traveling to the next city. Um, information on Artorias. Short synopsis as best as I could. Let's get into battle. Let's get started. Fight system is dope. It's pretty much like I, I, I fuck with the fight system. Like you pretty much you can chain. Let me show you guys. You can chain different arts to different buttons. So as you can see, we got like different moves that she learns throughout her time of fighting. You hit the Y button once. That's the first move you do. Hit the Y button twice. Uh, on the second Y press, that's the second move you do. On the third Y press, that's the third move you do. There's mystic arts and normal arts. Mystic arts are like your special arts. And then there's martial arts and hidden arts. I mean, martial arts are your normal arts. Hidden arts are like your finishing blows. And then you have mystic arts, which are your, are your like final attacks, you know. Sign any combo you want to any button. Um, and that's how it works. <laughs> It's hungry? Bingo! Very nice! And this? It's disturbingly happy? Oggy Lou, you're making it kind of obvious. Alright, so... That's pretty much one of the battles. That's how one of the battles went. That's how the battles go. Oh, crap. Not ready to fight any of them. No, leave me alone. Look at this shorty. Look at Shorty. Just appreciate Shorty real quick. Can y'all do that for me? Like, she a whole snack. Just appreciate her real quick. Look at the blade on her arm. Look how I got her. She's just a Kunoichi Shorty. I need my Kunoichi Shorty. Oh snap. So that probably means I gotta go all the way back. 
Where do they want me to go, bro? Spins of Nog. That's where I just came from. So they want me to go up, down, over. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Mm -mm. Get away from me. Dang, they ganged up in this one. Oh, Lord. I'm just trying to. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Get away from me. I wish you could run faster in this mug. You can't. And of course, I'm not going to be able to go through there. Ooh. Uh. Stressed. I ain't played this in a minute. I'm about to die. I'm about to see me die. It's cool though. That's cool though, because I got Kuno E T shorty with me. That's cool. Yee! Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want no smoke. Actually, give me the smoke. Yeah. Don't waste my time. Hmm. Where, that, where that young block? Where that young block brother? Ooh, 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 you hungry? Have it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at her orange, G. She said she she a goon, really. Don't play with her. Alright. Wow, so they making you go all the way around. You see what I mean? Wow. Mm -mm, get away from me. Get away from me. Mm-mm. I can't even let you. Look at them squatted up. Stop playing with me. Nope. I'm about to juke all oh, y'all. Yeah. Ooh, juke. Uh -oh, is it open? Ah! My God. I mean, my squad hard, so I don't even care. I just am not trying to fight. Flex on the world, dude. Oh. Yeah, we good, my little Nick. We straight thanks to you. All right, y'all. Big boss battle time. You feel me? Let's time to show him. Bow. Come on. Oh, you don't think we have a chance? Yes, we do. Come on. Oh, rip, shorty, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. White blue. This one is real. I think we got a chance. Now we do gotta be careful, but we got a chance. Oh, God, you see how I'm lighting this much? Yeah. 
Come on, dude. Oh, I could really use my special. Hold up. There we go. Get it. All of them. Ah! I ain't gonna lie. He just dug into me. He just dug into me. Hold up. Alright. What do you thought? Come on, my boy. Get him. I need to be careful not to misuse my power. He just big blasted it on him. On God, we just handled him. On God, we just handled him. Oh, I think it did. Oh, okay. You there. What do you think you're doing here? You know who I am. You know what it is. Uh. Uh. Yeah, at this point, they really can't do that. Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. That's the exorcist card. He's in sync about. with his compass, just like Aizen and this coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. And I don't even want to smoke. Oh my god, they're squatted up. Leave me alone. Do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Uh, look! Purple flowers! Yep, Solitoma. Is oh, that the flower the reason the, the abbeys flowers. closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. Mind you, who really sure is together. Like, I ain't stop playing. Yeah, they're really nasty. Not more than velvet, but, but still. But if you help the others, that's good enough for me. I don't even got the cap on. This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Oh. Another barrier. That barrier. Even my Praetor hearts can't break that. Yeah, What's you thought she was hard. Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Because the angels are about demons and angels. Is about how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Human, whatever. Right. Anime, Everyone stereotypical shit. This. Oh, this motherfucker moves hard. Oh, 
got to pay somebody else. Hold up, hold up, switch to my boy. Broken Raw. Switch characters. Yeah, Broken Raw. Arts. He done probably learned some new shit. Nah, he did it. Okay. Simpler than I thought. But I got a whole stack of people turning in the monster hobby than I thought. Look! Can we keep him? No. Hand it over. I'll dispose of it. Why well, gotta do my boy like that? Just let him keep the beetle. Damn. Everything don't gotta be death, death, sadness all the time, bitch. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. You want it, you feed it. I will. I'll take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. He said, yeah, I'll talk to you. That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. You're really looking out. Now that we've got what we need... We should get back to the ship. Sorry about that. Hmm. I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? Laffy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh... Well, oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. 
Not that it matters if he turned back. Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. Yeah, because she's really trying to decide whether she want to help her or not. Oh, yeah! I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it! It must be a new species. Incredible! A rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No, those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I... The Laffy said stag beetle. That's a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? Tch, more like beetledum. Huh? <laughs> that doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro. Aizen. I... I feel a dangerous storm. Looking asses. The rhino is a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true hey, sword. Hey, point. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Shit, I damn sure don't I hate bugs. Stag or butterfly. Ugh. It's all no matter to me. I they all look like bugs. They're, They're totally different. different. So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. Alright, but uh, oh, okay, that's wild. She's bad, bro. That's, that's shorty. You think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Oh yeah, you know I'm up out of here. Return to fans of Nog. It's cool, I'm almost back now. There ain't no point in fast traveling. Come here. That was mad easy for no reason. Oh, I can't even loop back around that way. Come here. Yeah, can get this word. Can get this word. Can get this word. Fucking word. Word. That's bro from um Tales of Hysteria, Zavi. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. That artifact you've got belongs to Ifried. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. 
Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. Hey, he's a V-Hard. Don't play with him. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. Play more, but I don't want to keep old pointy beard waiting. We'll chat some more later with our fists. Wait! Aizen! We need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're <sighs> let's head back, Laffy said. Alright. Hey, Zavid ain't nothing to play with. You get to play as him and tells us a theory of 400 years into the future. The game is 400 years into the future. You got to play with him. And the beat ain't no joke. He hard. He never been a joke. That thing Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Eifried. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Eifried brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be all right? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Uh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. Yeah, you know, squad. You know, town's got little shit. You know, weapons, shops, inns, all that jazz. Let me see. Hold on, let me go stay at the end. Let's see what they're talking about. Yeah, if you stay at ends, you'll get to see the little like stuff what the characters be doing. She really fuck on my nigga. No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. 10,000 practice swings a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure. So I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's incredible. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to 100,000 swings. 100,000? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? Nah. Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh? But ten swings a second would do the trick. Rokuro. Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it, despite knowing it's pointless? That seems a little odd. I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. Hey. Hey. That, that, and that end music be live. 
When you go to sleep, dun 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 dun. That should be wild. Alright. Oh, I did not want to come in here. Alright, we off this one. Gotta get back to the shit. Okay, cool. I'm sitting here like, where's the ship at, G? Like, they really playing games with me. We brought back your solitomas. Drink up. You saved us. But where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch, and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid. Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes. Aizen's the one in danger here. Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it. I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette's head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Did you a traitor ass asshole? Right. Oh. She's a traitor, bro. I don't, I don't fuck with him no, bro. You guys are useless. Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. Yeah, we yeah. are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. You're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here. Take your medicine like good little boys. And be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Aizen knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Uh, <laughs> of course! Leave the ship and crew to me. Here, this one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. Oh God! <sighs> if you say so, demon. Hey, sure, you annoying. She really peeped you out. Now. About where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right. Let's work together and find him. All right, y'all. We're going to end it off here. I ain't going to have this episode too, too crazy. Yeah, I know people wanted to see Tales. Apologize for not starting it from the beginning. But I will continue back from here on episode two. Um, so leave a like, comment, subscribe if you liked what you saw, if you liked the gameplay. And as always, stay easy.